Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Kevin, welcome back to my channel, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about Google's new Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. I recently completed this program, and I just want to give my personal opinion and review of it to help you guys decide whether or not the certificate is right for you. If you end up liking this video, please hit the like. If you want to see more content like this, please go ahead and subscribe. Anyways, let's begin. So to give some quick background, Google partnered with Coursera back in 2018 to start the Google Career Certificate Program, which was designed to help people gain job ready skills for the tech industry, with the first program being the Google IT Support Professional Certificate. Fast forward to today, there are now several other Google certificates you can get with a variety of specializations, with the latest one being the Cybersecurity Certificate released on May 4th, 2023. In order to get the Cybersecurity Certificate, you must pass these eight courses. Uh, these courses are said to be designed to prepare you for entry-level SOC analyst roles, um, but do they really prepare you? I have some opinions on that, but first I want to talk about each course. Foundations of Cybersecurity This course gives you a bare-bones introduction of cybersecurity and the importance of it in an organization, um, as well as what kind of skills you'll need to be a professional, uh, both soft skills and technical skills. Uh, you'll learn some basic terminology used in the industry, um, certain frameworks, common types of cyber attacks, and a brief introduction of some tools used in cybersecurity. Managing Security Risks In this course, you'll learn the basics of threats, risks, and vulnerabilities, um, what the CIA triad is, and how it plays a key role in protecting data and organization. Um, it also touches on the NIST cybersecurity framework as well as OWASP, which is vital information to know if you want to work in the industry. You'll also learn about security audits, and you're going to be performing a lab where you're going to be completing your own security audit, and you can add that to your resume. Networks and network security. Here you're going to learn the basics of networking, like ports and protocols, subnetting, what a VPN is. You'll also learn about network-based attacks like DDoS, IP spoofing. Um, it's very fundamental stuff, and it isn't too deep, but it's knowledge that is important in cybersecurity. Linux and SQL. Uh, this is the course that I was the most excited for, but I ended up being somewhat disappointed in. Um, you get very basic knowledge of Linux, um, the command line interface, and also a little bit of SQL. Uh, the labs here are pretty standard, but fun for people who are new to Linux. Um, like it teaches you how to install, um, and uninstall, and reinstall a program, uh, change file permissions, all through the command line. It only briefly mentions Linux distributions like Kali or Parrot OS and how it's used in cybersecurity, but it never goes too deep into it. Um, I was really hoping for some Kali-based labs, but I know that it's a rabbit hole in and of itself. Um, so I do appreciate the fact that it was at least mentioned. The SQL portion of this course was pretty decent. Uh, you'll learn about queries, filters, operators. Uh, the labs were pretty fun, but I'm a little bit biased because I just like using SQL. Assets, Threats, and Vulnerabilities so this course teaches you foundational knowledge of the vulnerability management lifecycle, uh, common threats to asset security, and different types of security controls to counteract those threats. Um, it also touches on encryption and hashing. Uh, I really did like this course. Uh, I actually work in vulnerability management, um, so a lot of the topics that were discussed in this course is relatable. Detection and response. So this course was both very fun and very challenging. Uh, here you're going to learn about the incident response lifecycle, and it is actually very crucial knowledge to learn for the industry. Um, you're also going to learn a powerful tool called Wireshark, uh, like how to read and analyze packets for an investigation. Overall, this was my second favorite course out of the entire program, mainly because I was able to use real world tools in a simulated environment. Automate cybersecurity tasks with Python. Uh, this was another very fun but challenging course. Uh, it's essentially an introduction to Python and how you can apply it to cybersecurity. You learn some basic scripting skills and in one of the labs, you're gonna be writing a script to read and digest some log data. Uh, I actually enjoyed this one the most uh, because I'm actually trying to learn Python on the side and I did end up learning a lot from this course. Preparing for cybersecurity jobs. This one, I feel like it was a bit of a filler course. Um, it just gives you advice on how to connect with cybersecurity professionals through LinkedIn, how to keep up with cybersecurity news, how to prepare for interviews. Um, it also helps you build your resume, but um, honestly, there are much better resources out there like the resume subreddit. Um, and uh, for interviews, you can use like inter interview prep YouTube videos. 
Also, the resume template um, that they provide you really doesn't look that good, in my opinion. Um, personally, I feel like there is a lot of room for improvement if they want to keep this course in the cybersecurity program. And now for my final thoughts of the program as a whole. Um, it's good for someone who's just starting their cybersecurity journey. Um, you'll develop a very solid foundation to build your skills and knowledge on. Um, will this make you job ready? I personally don't think so. Um, I don't think you'll get a 100k salary job with just his certificate alone. Uh, I would suggest developing your technical skills um, through sites like Try Hack Me or Hack the Box, um, paired with studying for a CompTIA Security Plus certificate. Completing this certificate does give you a 30% discount off of the Security Plus voucher if you do choose to pursue it. Coursera says that you can finish this within six months, but honestly, uh, you can finish this within two weeks or maybe even less if you dedicate to completing one course per day. And that is the end of this video. I hope I was able to help you make a decision about whether or not the certificate is right for you. If you end up liking this video, please hit like. If you finish the program, go ahead and comment down below. And if you want to see more content, go ahead and subscribe. And with that, take care.